Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Did you ever just have a weekend you were thankful for? So this is kind of a, a two-part type of thing. So first off, amazing weekend this weekend. I, I, I am so thankful for all the different people in the bourbon community. You guys, I tell you what, you guys make it so much fun and it's so enjoyable. And, and I just get taken aback from a lot of different things. You know, yesterday, Saturday was just a crazy, crazy busy day. Um, had... A tasting with a local group, uh, East Alabama, West Georgia group. This is going to be for a pickup coming for a double oaked Woodford. Was very, very excited about that. This will be in partnership uh, with, a, with a local store here. So as the, we get more details on that, on the dates and stuff, I, I'd like to share that with the channel as well. Like I said, I this is not something that it's just me driven. I'm just one of the people that got to participate but I'm very, very excited about it. You know, the East Alabama, West Georgia group is doing a great thing to try to bring some, some neat bourbons to the area. And I really appreciate that. And I'm so thankful that they invited me in to be a part of that yesterday. Um, fantastic time. I got to meet Ramon, one of the local business owners here and his wife, uh, and talked about some things as well. Exciting future there uh, for, for that store. Uh, and for the East Alabama, West Georgia group. So excited about that. During that period of time, you know, as, as you may or may not know, you know, my uh, mother-in-law's got some health issues and I'm not really trying to travel a lot, but 13th Colony had a drop. And Prentice Griffith, a member of the channel, one of the Patreons, you know, I said, hey, is there a way you could pick one of these up for me? And he absolutely did. Um, you know, and this is the 13th Colony. This is their homage to their Southern whiskey which is cool if you can see the old school label on there. Um, but you know, this is <clears throat> a 10 year whiskey. It comes in at 131 proof. Uh, it's signed by Graham. As you notice, <laughs> it's already open. Um, it was signed by Graham Arthur. Um, very, very cool that they kind of threw back the old label and, and added some new stuff on there too. And as you notice, I got five bottles in front of me that are all open. Um, why Prentice was getting that for me. Also last night, there was a private event that my wife and I got to go to with some local people here. And it was a bottle share. I brought five different bottles. I brought the JT Mellick, which is outstanding. Man, Randy, thank you for that. I very much enjoyed this last night. I had the three or four other people that tried it and they're like, wow, I had no clue about it. So I was very excited about that. Brought the 13th Colony and cracked that one. 131 proof. It's a little bit hot to start. But man, when you let that thing sit in that glass for a little bit. And I'll go do reviews on all of these. They all deserve reviews. That thing right there, man. It's fantastic. Brought one of the Mississippi uh, Sipper Spillway ones that I hadn't opened yet. Um, and this is the uh, Manhattan one, which is very, very cool. Um, a lot of people like this as well. And this was a brand new bottle and I've got an upcoming video for this too, Dark Arts. If you guys know, I'm a big Dark Arts fan. This was actually signed by their CEO at the bottle shop yesterday. Brought that in and cracked that as well. Uh, very, very excited about that. I actually got to do a, a short interview with him at the store. Very thankful for that. Can't wait to do an independent video on that as well. I really like what Dark Arts is doing there. Uh, also brought this ASW Fiddler. And as you could tell, this one was a hit last night. This was on open last night. Um, this is their, it's a barrel strength Fiddler Soloist. Um, it's their seven year anniversary um, bottle. It's a toasted as well. And man, everyone just fell in love with this bottle, me included. I still have to get a pour out of this for Ian. I told him I would, and I'm going to make sure that happens with a couple other things, so I'll drop that off for him uh, as well. But man, this thing right here, everyone liked this one last night. So that was that was really cool. Plus, there were some other great bottles there last night, too. I'll kind of put a little bit of my day in the very back end uh, of the video yesterday. Just a picture of, you know, doing the Woodford Double Oak pick. Um, the pictures of some of the bottles that were there to share. 
you know, I got had some birthday bourbon last night, which was really, really cool. Like I said, everyone was very generous. Got to got to try the bottle of the Good Times that's coming out from our local one of our two people that are local in the area in the bourbon groups and firefighter. That's going to go to support um, a local firefighter son as well, which that link will be in the description for the GoFundMe. Don't forget that. Because not only that, but Wednesday, if you've watched that video from this past Wednesday and you've donated that GoFundMe, send me that picture of the donation to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon at gmail.com and you're going to be eligible to get a two ounce pour of everything that I collected in April. And I think there was like 12 or 13 bottles. So it'll be a nice sample pack just as kind of a thank you for raising awareness to that Um I can't say enough good things about uh, people. I've had a lot of people reach out to me and said, look, I'm not going to send you the picture, but I didn't want to let you know I put in a donation. You know, I just, I'm very, very thankful you brought that to my attention. I had very heartfelt uh, text messages from a lot of people. One of them, I tell you, uh, Whiskey Panda Man, he sent me one. He's like, dude, I'm just so glad you raised awareness to this. But, you know, it's, I'm not doing it because I want any kind of, hey, thank you or anything like that. I want to do it because I want to help this family because there are so many people that have helped me when I've had rough times behind the scenes that I never even knew about. And I want to do the same for some other people. So for Sam Delgado and his family, and, you know, and, and I'm so glad that we can raise awareness to this, but please check out that video if you haven't. All these will have their own separate videos coming up shortly, but that's just kind of a short synopsis, you know, five minute synopsis if you call that short of how my day went, but I want to get to the most important thing. Oh, we, we had two winners yesterday as well. Let me set some of these down so I can get into that. Um, so we have the two ounce pour of the, of the Knob Creek that I selected. John Coors, congratulations. You know, reach out to me, Echoes in Eternity Bourbon, so I can make sure I, I know how to handle your pour for you. Congratulations, very excited for you. On the Patreon side, and I'll do a video about that a little bit later, um, you know, Lori, brand new member to the Patreon. Congratulations. You won the two ounce Knob Creek pour. Uh, I'll make sure I try to get all that information on the back end of this video as well, too. So very, very excited about that. Now, Sundays are typically, you know, a, the day that I say, Hey, let's, let's give out the, this pour, that pour, but this is kind of a different one and, and a special one. And, and I did this last year and, and I'm excited to do it again this year. So I've got a bottle. This is the Van Winkle Family Reserve 13-Year Rye. And I got this for being part of a points club at, at a, you know, at a reasonable price. You know, it's, you know, it's still a very expensive bottle, but it wasn't secondary. It was MSRP. I'm so very thankful that I got this at the end of the year for a points club. And, and this 15th anniversary, um, 13th Colony. And this was donated uh, from their owner, Max, to the channel. And uh, I told him, I said, you know, I'm going to use this as part of a giveaway. <clears throat> now, this giveaway is a little bit different. If people were here last year, I did a George T. Stag in the 13th Colony Double Oak. This is a Memorial Day pour. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have enough time, you know, for people to have an opportunity to see this. It'll end, you know, next Sunday. I'll do the drawings for this. I ended up giving away five pours last year. And, and the premise behind this is, is, you know, Memorial Day weekend, a lot of people, you know, it, it hits people differently. Um, you know, people that, people that served in our American military, uh, people that have served or their families have been a part of this. You know, there's, there's just the old saying, all gave some, some gave all. Um, there's some, there's some people out there who've felt the impact of those that gave all. You know, when Memorial Day comes around, it can be a real tough time for people. It's a time for remembrance. It's a time for thanking, you know, people that, you know, gave that ultimate sacrifice. You know, it may be a conversation between you, you them, and God, um, but it's still a very, very tough time. But what I did last year, and I'd like to do again this year, is if you're someone that would like to have a special pour in remembrance of someone that gave all, in the comments, just put remembrance. You know, it's got to be a friend or a family member, someone you served with, something like that. And what I'll do is, I'll do, depending on how many comments are on there, I'll pull a certain amount of comments to make sure that I can get that to the person in time for Memorial Day. And you'll get that choice. Do you want the 15th anniversary or do you want the 13-year pappy? Um, I've already given out a couple of people promises that are going to get some of this already locally. 
Um, you know, I, Jesus, the bloody 81, uh, I, I've already got something to him. Um, Chris, uh, Gunn, uh, a friend of mine, he's already got something. Tyrone, a gentleman I, I met, um, at 18th amendment. I've already promised him a pour of this 13th as well, but there's still going to be a lot more. Um, but you know, I just want to let you know that some people have already been promised when this, when this opens, you're getting some of this. Um, but it, like I said, if you're a family member, friend, or someone that served with someone that you want to take time for a special pour in remembrance of them during the Memorial Day holiday, remembrance in the comments. And, you know, and I say this very heartfelt. I, I thank you so, so very much for those that serve in our military. I never served in our military. You know, my grandfather, my father, my brother, my, my son-in-law is currently serving. They, they've all had that, that distinction. I did not serve, but I'm very thankful and appreciative of those that did serve. So if you know someone, maybe it's not impacting you, but maybe you have a friend or a family member that this might be something that would be interesting to them, let them know about it. You know, I, I think that that's important too, because you want to honor the people that paid a price for you that you never maybe even knew about, or you didn't ask, but they were willing to do it anyways. So putting that out there for today, I, I want it to be a positive type of a thing too, um, because I want you to sit down and have a pour to think about the good times with that person, not maybe not the final moments, but the good times with that person. Um, and I know that I have a lot of friends that, that I think about often and it, and it, you know, you want to think about the things that you enjoyed with them. So use that pour to think about the things you enjoyed with them. Sorry if I get a little tongue-tied and wordy on things, but to me, this is a, it's something that I'm very, very tied to, emotionally invested, I say, and I, and I want it to be understood. This is humbly, I want to provide something nice for somebody, and, and I hope that's the way it comes off. But it's been a fantastic weekend. Got some new things in the future to discuss, but this is not the time for it. So I hope you all have an amazing, amazing day. Cheers and God bless. Thank you. Well, for a Georgia whiskey, it doesn't sound like a Going on, man. Actually, I...